What's going on guys in the works and welcome to another Battlefield 3 showdown and we've taken a week break but we're back and we're doing two weapons that are very similar the SG553 and the G53. The last week we did the L86A2 versus the M27 IAR and the L86 put the beat down on the M27. I had a hard time finding anybody in the comments that really liked the M27 more than the L86. So if you want to be a part in this week's episode, be sure to vote in the Facebook poll and leave your comments because I always use those to gather information for the next episode. And, you know, it's really important when you vote in that Facebook poll, guys, because it lets me know which one you like best. But this week we are doing two engineer weapons that are so, so similar. I had a tough time doing this week's episode. But if you take a look at the base stats here, you can see the rate of fires are very similar. The G53 gets the edge by 50 rounds per minute. But it does reload much slower than the SG553, which could be a sizable disadvantage if you get caught in a close quarter situation. Now you look at these two weapons and there's not a lot of differences. The main differences rely on the, the rate of fire and the recoil patterns. Now the recoil pattern on the SG553 is mostly side to side. It does not have a lot of upward recoil, which makes it an awesome candidate for the foregrip and heavy barrel combination. And that's not something that I suggest for a lot of weapons. I feel like people tend to stay away from the heavy barrel and foregrip combination. They usually just run the heavy barrel because they don't want to penalize themselves at range. They get so fearful of the foregrip nerfing the accuracy well with the sg553 it's one of the few exceptions in the game that i think actually benefits from the foregrip because it does have so much side to side recoil having both of those on there really helps the accuracy because the accuracy you gain by less recoil is pretty much negates that accuracy penalty that you get from you know at longer ranges with the foregrip so it actually is a benefit to run them in combination so heavy barrel and foregrip is my favorite attachment for the SG553. Now with the G53, it has a lot of un upward recoil initially. It, it's a very high kick to it. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. If you've ever used the weapon, you'll know what I'm talking about, but the kick on this thing is really, really high and to the right. But the cool thing about the G53 and the heavy barrel is the recoil is only increased by 1.1 with the heavy barrel attachment. So it is an awesome candidate for it. It doesn't affect it a whole lot. And it definitely makes it much more versatile. It makes it much accurate and more potent at medium ranges. And that can be really important because that will take one less bullet to knock someone out. Now to me, the SG553 definitely gets the edge. I mean, even though it does shoot 50 rounds per minute slower, it to me seems like it's easier to stay on target. It's a little bit more versatile because it can get the job done in close quarters. Um, the fact that it is a engineered weapon means that it's going to have better hip fire than some of the assault rifles. Granted, you will get out sprayed by like an AEK or an F2000, but for you know an engineer choice, it's pretty solid and it's really easy to stay on target. I found that even though it does shoot slower, getting those bullets on target and never missing is a sizable advantage if you can consider yourself an accurate player. So I really do enjoy using the SG553. I feel like it's one of the more underappreciated uh, weapons in the game because it, to me, it's what the G36 used to be. The G36 used to behave a lot like this. So if you were a fan of it before they patched it, you're definitely going to love the SG553. It's super, super accurate. It's very versatile. And honestly, it's one of the most underused weapons in the game. In fact, it was the weapon I kicked off my famous underused weapon series with. So um, try out the SG553 if you've never really toyed around with it. And then kind of compare it to the G53 if you haven't had the chance. And you'll kind of see the differences. I think the G53 definitely gets the edge in close quarters because it does shoot much faster. To me, it's a little bit more versatile. But then again, you know, it reloads a little bit slower, which could hurt you in a close quarters engagement. Um, the thing I like about the SG553 is that it's good at all ranges. You know, I've never found myself in a range where I'm like, man, I wish I could uh, I wish I could have the G53. I mean, in some situations when you get in those rate of fire battles when you both pull the trigger, you may be hoping that you had a, a G53 on your side. But, you know, the thing about the G53 is even though it is better in close quarters, it can get the job done if need be at longer ranges. And that's one of the reasons why I do like using the heavy barrel on it. Um, it can be a little bit more versatile. You'll find yourself picking people off at longer ranges. So don't feel like just because... Um, I acted like it's a close quarters weapon that you can't use it at you know, medium to long range because you definitely can do that. Um, it's just not as as effective, I guess I should say, as the SG553. Now, I would never say use the foregrip on this. You're only really going to hurt yourself if you use the foregrip on the G53 because it doesn't really have a lot of side to side recoil. Most of the recoil on this thing is up and to the right. So no need to use foregrip on that. But my edge definitely goes to the SG553, but be sure to let me know in the Facebook poll which weapon you guys um, prefer. And I know not a lot of people use the SG553, which really disappoints me, but I'm hoping I can get your guys' feedback on this one. Um, being a co-op weapon, a lot of people don't want to spend the time to unlock it. 
same could be said with the G53 uh, being a car cam weapon. But if you missed any of the last episodes, now is your chance to catch up. We had the L86 versus the M27, and before that we had the USAS 12 versus the MK3A1. Two awesome episodes, check them out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.